Okay, so first of all, double click on the axes and then go to the number formatting options. And in here, we're going to type in a custom number format, which is going to be in square brackets, only show me values that are greater than 80 and close the square brackets. Then I will type in the word general because I want to have the general number format and then a semicolon and add. And you can see here all of the values less than 80 have disappeared and it's only showing me the numbers greater than 80. If I wanted to also have the number 80 in here, I would need to say greater than or equal to 80 and then add that as well. And you'll see the number 80 reappears. Now this part here is the type of number formatting that you want. So you can have many different options. I can put a hash in here and then add that and it doesn't change the way the numbers look. I can also add in decimal places by typing 0, dot 0 and add that and that puts in decimal places and I can have just a zero here by itself and that changes the numbers back again. So you can have whatever sort of number formatting that you want here. It's the part in the square brackets that controls which numbers show up. Now to also get the lower numbers down here to appear, I'm going to put in a second statement. This will be in square brackets, show me values that are less than or equal to 40 and close these square brackets and then zero and a semicolon and add. And now all the lower numbers in this axis have reappeared. So I can see the lower numbers and the higher numbers, but not the values in the middle. Now on this axis over here, I'm going to do the opposite of that. So hide the lower and the higher numbers and only show the values in the middle. So the first statement for this will be in square brackets, show me values that are greater than or equal to 200 and then zero and semicolon and add. And that makes all of the lower numbers disappear. Then for the second statement in square brackets, I will type only show me values less than or equal to 400 and zero and semicolon and add. And this doesn't work. It makes all of the numbers in the axes appear. And that is because these two statements contradict each other. First of all, I'm asking it to show me only values greater than 200. And then I'm asking it to show me values less than 400. But values that are less than 200 will also be less than 400. And you can't fix this by reordering the statements. If I put it like this, it still doesn't fix it. Because if we now think about these the other way around, I'm asking it to show me values that are less than 400, and then I'm asking it to show me values greater than 200, but values that are greater than 400 will also be greater than 200. So it still shows me all the numbers. Now to work around this, we will change this to greater than 400 and add, and that makes the lower numbers disappear. And then at the beginning of this in square brackets, I will type the word white and then add that. And that makes all of the higher values disappear because I'm changing the font color of all of the numbers greater than 400 to white. If I change the fill of this chart to a different color, you'll be able to see 
that you can't see the axes numbers here or here, but you can see them here because I've just changed them to a white font. But if the fill is also white, then you can't see it. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to get the axes labels to appear on only part of the axes in an Excel chart. And that is everything.